Welcome to the show. Uh, we have so much to talk about. I mean, last night was crazy, wasn't it? Did you see it? Did everyone see it? I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was just so anxious to see who would come out the winner. But luckily, after a very close beginning, the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> defeated the Saints 45 to 32. I mean, it's all anyone's talking about today, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. We need to talk about the debate, and this was a big one. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton stood on stage together for the first time, and everyone was watching. In fact, last night, there were nearly 7 million tweets about the debate. Right, and this was surprising. Only 5 million of those were from Donald Trump. <laughs> Not only was it the most tweeted, it was the most watched debate ever with an audience of over 80 million people, and it set other records, too. It was actually the first argument to take place in New York that didn't end with someone going, oh, yeah, right here, huh? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> but there were some other big moments. Hillary nailed Donald Trump on refusing to release his taxes, and Trump, as usual, seemed completely unfazed. Take a look at this exchange. And they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So, that makes if me he's smart. paid zero... <laughs> that makes me smart. You know smart. Like a billionaire who goes on TV and tells everyone he doesn't pay taxes. Like that, you know? <laughs> Take a look at Trump's face right after he said that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's right after. He's like, whoa, did... Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> now, one thing a lot of people commented on was how Trump kept making sniffling sounds with his nose over and over during the debate. Now, I'm not sure what's causing Trump to sniffle. It's possible he's allergic to whatever animal has gently fallen asleep on top of his head. <laughs> um, Mark, <laughs> on my own. But after this started to make the rounds on the internet, uh, or as Trump called it, the cyber, uh, former, <laughs> <laughs> former DNC chair Howard Dean tweeted last night, he tweeted, notice Trump sniffling all the time, coke user? <laughs> because if there's one guy who would know about a politician doing cocaine, it's Howard Dean. <laughs> we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington <laughs> and Michigan, and then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House! Now, not long after the debate, uh, Trump began blaming his sniffling on the fact that his microphone was defective. And to be fair, there was a huge issue with Trump's mic. It was turned on. <laughs> now, look, emotions were riding high going into this debate. They were, but the great thing about it, ultimately, was that in the end, people came together for the common cause of democracy. You could see it in the audience who cheered on both sides, and you could see it amongst the reporters who covered it. They... They were the ones who really exemplified the unifying spirit of this debate. I mean, just look at the camaraderie among these reporters in the press room after the event. Ma'am, stop pushing this. Stop pushing this. Thanks a lot, bitch. 